Leading the newscast today, the story that everybody is talking about. Masks are no longer needed on public transportation. Local 3's Dallas Payton talked to some, some travelers about the big decision. Dallas, what are they telling you? Calvin, while I was out at the Chattanooga Airport this afternoon, there were tons of smiling faces and the people I spoke with were just excited to know that they could fly again without wearing one of these. That the Transportation Security Administration will no longer enforce the federal mandate requiring masks in all U.S. airports and onboard aircraft. Chattanooga and Troy Pickett and his son were on a flight from Hawaii to Los Angeles when the flight attendant announced that the federal mask mandate for public transportation was lifted. And so everybody cheered on the airplane and then uh, they made a big thing about it. You know, he's, he counted down three, two, one, everybody peeled the masks off and then there was a lot of cheering and uh, uh, everybody was really happy. Pickett says some people decided to keep theirs on, but it was great to see everyone's smiling faces. I mean, it's another step towards normalcy to me, you know, and I, I, I think that's what everybody, I hope what everybody thinks. I mean, it's just a one more step towards everything being back to normal. Jacob Smallman agrees with Pickett on the mask mandate being lifted. Smallman is headed back to New York to spend some time with family. It's going to be a big relief. I won't feel as suffocated in my own, in my own little area, so I'm going to be actually pretty happy about that, yeah. While most are excited about the mass lift, Dr. Mark Anderson with CHI Memorial doesn't believe the decision was the right one. The decision would have been made uh, better by uh, people who understand the science and have a, and, and F, infectious disease and epidemiology like the CDC and, and base it on infection levels. Dr. Anderson says there are some groups that should highly consider wearing masks while traveling on public transportation. So that would be uh, elderly, people who are immune suppressed, who may not respond very well to the vaccine, that if they are flying, they themselves should wear masks for their own protection, especially now that everyone won't be wearing a mask. He suggests that cancer chemotherapy patients and transplant patients are some of the individuals who should avoid flying altogether. And Carter announced that they would be following along with the decision, but strongly recommend their riders wear masks. In studio, Dallas Payton, Local 3 News.